What's going on everyone? This is Gunsnipe and welcome to another reveal and customization video here on my channel. In this video we're going to be looking at the Barrage which is one of the newest vehicles that came out in the Doomsday Heist update. Now you can get this vehicle on the Warstock website and it typically goes for 2,121,350. However, if you do the mission, the heist setup and heist prep, heist prep and setup missions for this vehicle, you will get the trade price of $1,595,000. Everyone knows that when your enemies are fleeing in hysterical terror, they will run and hide in the most hard to reach places. And what's the use of your trusty 50 cal turret if there are if there are nooks, crannies, and bolt ho bolt holes you can't poke into? Into the barrage, one of the most versatile and resilient off-roaders on the planet, equipped with upgradable front and rear facing turrets, running and hiding just got a whole lot harder. And of course, you will need to you you will, the only way you upgrade this vehicle is with the vehicle workshop inside an MOC or the Avenger. So we're going to take this inside the Avenger and we're going to go ahead and do all the customization work on this vehicle. So with that being said, let's not waste any more time and go right into it. Okay, right off the bat, the sale price for this vehicle. Ugh. I'm about to turn off my notifications. Uh, one, the, the trade price, for the, the sell price is, is $1,272,810. Not bad for an off-roader. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to deal with the customization work. Armor, $50,000. That's a given. Brakes, $35,000. Body work. Okay, we got doors, bumper panel, racks, side panel, roll cage, turret bracket, and bed liners. This this vehicle's got some good some good customizations. Okay, doors. We got primary, custom frame, secondary, carbon frames, primary mesh, secondary mesh, carbon mesh, and the camouflage. Primary reinforced frame, secondary reinforced frame. Carbon reinforced frame, and that's it. And this one's the most expensive at fifty-four fifty. Um, I mean, what's this really gonna be protecting? I mean, it, I'll just put these on because they look. Well, you know what? Uh, we'll do the secondary frame. Okay, bumper panel. Uh, we got custom panel, custom bumper, carbon, do bar, construct carbon. Mark 1 battery, guard, the custom, Mark 2 custom, or carbon, and a Mark 3, and that's it. The Mark 3 carbon battery guard is the most expensive at 15700 Um, We'll go with the Mark 3 here, the paint, that way we can paint it. Okay, racks, uh, what, okay, right here. Um, Moves, it removes the cart. We can remove the cartridges, twin cases, full cases, black grill, primary grill, secondary grill, carbon grill, and camouflage net. And the net is the most expensive at forty-five fifty. Um, we'll leave that. We'll put the that on there because that makes it looks nice. Give it more character. Um, side panels. What we got here? Okay, so we got basic panels, carbon panels, carbon basic, uh, do bar, carbon do bar, window panel, ca ca carbon window, mesh, carbon mesh, reinforce, carbon reinforce, and that's it. Carbon reinforce is a, is fifteen seven hundred. Um, again, what's what, what, the windows don't protect won't protect you for the sliders. So to match uh, what we did in the front, we'll just do the mesh again. Uh, roll cage. We got primary, custom primary custom half, secondary, uh, carbon custom, and then we got a 
primary mesh, secondary mesh, carbon half uh, carbon mesh, and then the camo, and then the reinforce. And we also got Dubar, which again, I mean, it doesn't really protect the driver. And we got primary custom cage, uh, secondary custom cage, and carbon. You know, yeah, I mean, we got a lot of stuff here. And this carbon cage setup is the most expensive at $24.50. Um, let me see. Let me go back down here. Yeah, we'll do this one. The secondary. Uh, well, it doesn't matter. We'll just do that primary. Alright, the turret bracket. We got carbon detail. The riot uh, frame. Reinforced frame, which gives... Which protects the back. And the carbon reinforced. And the carbon reinforced is the most expensive at 14 grand even. So, we'll go with the reinforced frame. Now, the bed liner... Uh, won't be able to see much, but but the tires was is gonna be changing. So we got the empty tire rack, none, bed rack, do bar, bed rack with duffel bags, one with kit with the weapon crate, one with ammo box, utility upgrade, utility upgrade two, and that's it. Uh, this is the most expensive at five thousand, and we're gonna do that one just to get rid of that tire. Um, engine, uh. 33.5 for that. Exhaust, we got um, left pointed tip, right pointed tip, twin pointed tip, left cross hatch exhaust, right and twin. And then we got left dual inset, right dual inset, dual inset, twin dual, left performance. I mean, the exhaust, I can go on. And on but it's pretty much like you can either have left or right or twin of each one Ooh, that looks nice uh, twin miter uh, exhaust uh, twin tech 9 which puts the exhaust like right behind the driver's seat and that's the most expensive at 24 175 uh, we, but we're gonna do with this one okay hood we got Dubar Carbon Dubar, Dubar bulkhead, carbon bulkhead, carbon Dubar bulk, bulkhead, uh, twin vented, carbon twin vented, large vented, carbon large vented, hood rack. Ooh, and it kind of shows that. I mean, I, there's a, a ton of customizations for this vehicle, and this one it apparently is unlocked, so. I, this is the most expensive for me, so at fifteen to fifty. Um, but to match what we have right there, that way it can like looks like it's sloping. We'll go ahead and do the Dubar plate horn, ninety thousand for the San Andreas loop lights, a uh, xenon seventy five hundred neon kit layout thirty thousand. Uh. Crew is twenty thousand. Um, I'm gonna do like just put a black light on it, just because I don't know what I'm gonna do with the paint job and stuff. Livery, the same as always. Uh, we we we'll just leave it as it, as is right now. Of course, the most expensive is thirty one, three fifty. Lost death prevention, that's included. Plate again, if you have the app, you know you know the story. Hundred grand for the plate. And six hundred, so six hundred for the color, and with the color and custom plate six, is like a hundred thousand six hundred. Okay, respray. We got primary, secondary, and crew. You know the story there. Fifty thousand for the primary gold, pure gold metal, and twenty-five thousand for the pure metal, pure gold metal secondary. Um, we're gonna, we're just gonna do metallic, black. Metallic with the black uh, pearlescent and secondary, we'll just go ahead and chrome it. Okay, transmission 40,000. 
turbo, 50,000, which gets it all the way up. The, the acceleration all the way to maximum. Weapons. Now we got the top and rear. Uh, ooh, so yeah, we can uh, pretty much give the top and tur the top and rear. Oh, we can ooh, we can do grenade launcher for the rear and another and a minigun. That's uh, that's okay. So we're gonna do the we're gonna do the top 50 cal minigun on the front. For two hundred twenty-five thousand, and for the rear, let's just do a for rear forty millimeter grenade launcher for the for, for two hundred fifty thousand. So right now, this vehicle is over a million dollars in customization work so far, and of course we got the wheels. Uh, since this is an off-roader, we're gonna do off-road rims. Let's see. The most expensive ones we have here are the Doom. Basher at 72795. No, 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 I take that back. Uh, mine is at, mine is at 72795. But at the Challenger at 76085. My, my mistake. Um, but we're gonna go with these, uh, mil specs right here. Um, tires, tire design, 50,000 for that. I mean, not 50,000, but 5,000 for that. I'm sorry. Yeah, we'll put them on. Uh, tire enhancement, 25,000. Tire smoke, another 25,000 for the smoke. If you want it. And that's it for this vehicle. So when it's all said and done, when you have it fully upgraded, and like I said, it is a lot. You're looking at 1,192,000. Uh, nine hundred ten dollars if you put like all the insane upgrades on it, the most expensive. And if you and for me, if I wanted to sell it, I'll make one point seven million off the off the vehicle. All right, so let's uh keep hitting the wrong button. Um, let's exit the Avenger and exit the facility, and we'll drive, take a little test drive, and possibly test the weapons if we can. Which I'm sure we can. So let's see how it looks like in the interior. Ooh, that looks nice. Heh. <laughs> Standard horn for this thing. So basically, this is just another off-roader. That's really a monster and stuff. Um, we're gonna come over here. It hit, to be honest, the handling is really good. Um, uh, it doesn't feel like it wants to tip over, which is a good thing. But overall, this vehicle is just a beast. I want, we're gonna try out the, uh, the rear turret here first. See how this looks. So this is basically just a grenade launcher. If you mean if you can hit stuff with it, then you're pretty good with this. Um and as for and of course we also have the minigun. Which does a 360, which is nice. This is pretty much the same minigun from the uh, Insurgent pickup and as well as the uh... As well as the uh... Havoc. But it looks like it does more damage than now because of the, the update and stuff. Of course here's how it looks like... On, in first person view. Go ahead and kill, get rid of these cops and stuff. Overall, this the vehicle itself looks like it's gonna be really fun. Hey, you know, let me get get rid of these cops. But overall, like I said, this vehicle looks like it's gonna be really fun to play around with in free aim sessions. Um, can't handle the heat, my friend. 
it's just okay. a it overall it's a nice vehicle and all that stuff so if you want to get this go ahead it like i said it has the has two turret system two turret mounts on it it handles really well i don't know what the explosion uh resistance on this vehicle is and stuff but i do know that insurance cost is twenty thousand, which is uh, which is like everything else so that's it for this uh, this v uh, video. Again, thank you so much for watching. And as always, please drop a like, subscribe, comment, share, and also hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when I upload more videos like this. With that being said, again, thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I will see you all in the next video.